And, and so everybody's doing that, but is anybody hearing God? And I understand you need to process your frustration. But after doing all of that, process with God. That's when you need to learn to be quiet. Because that's when you will hear God the most. What's the time? Okay. Some things we learned from the Battle of Jericho. Number one, the battle is won by trusting in God. Number two, God's methods may not be man's methods. Number three, don't sabotage God's plans by projecting your fears and insecurities. And number four, the best way to hear God is to be quiet. I fell in love with this little quote. Before you talk, listen. Before you react, think. Before you criticize, wait. Before you quit, try. And before you pray, forgive. The last thing I want to touch on is persistence. You notice how many times he had them go around, go around, go around, and then on the seventh day, go around seven days. Why did that combination work? I didn't give you enough clues. I just like to pause there. <laughs> the answer is, it worked. Because that was when God decided it would work. <laughs> And why do I say that? Because we'll get to that point where we'll say, well, you know, Lord, I have circled six times. <laughs> One day short. <laughs> One day short. And then we get to the seventh day, and he says, now circle seven times around. And then, come on, Lord. <laughs> We've been doing it one day, once around. Now you're asking us to do it seven times on the seventh day? God is not asking us to measure how long. When are these walls going to fall? When are you going to move? He's not asking you. That's not your concern. He didn't tell them, I'm going to move on the seventh day, on the seventh time around. He didn't tell them. He just said, follow me. March around the city. Now march around seven times. Now, shout. So what is he saying what you are to do with your Jericho? He wants you to circle around it with prayer. Persistence, trust, obedience, and knowing that it will fall when God is ready. And that may be hard for some of you who have been dealing with the Jericho for a long time. But God is working on many levels. And this is one of those times where his ways are higher than ours. 
when we don't understand. I can tell you this, he is going to move, but I can also tell you this, when he's ready. But that's a mature thing to hear. That's not an easy thing to hear. I'm telling you, that's the truth. He will move when he is ready. And he's not into bargaining. Well, when you're ready, God, then I'll be ready. That's not what he said to the Israelites. He said, march around the city until I tell you to shout. So he wants us to be diligent and persistent, marching around our Jerichos, listening for him for that day when he says shout, obeying him, trusting in him, persisting in faith, doing good works while he prepares Jericho's walls to fall flat. The final promise of this battle of Jericho is what he said to them. He said, shout, for the victory is yours. So don't give up. Keep your focus on God. Let's pray. The worship team can come up. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for your word today, Lord God. And we look to you as our commander. We're not going to murmur against you or, or question, Lord God. We're just going to trust you more. Give us grace for what we need. Help us, Lord. Help us. We know that you are good and you are faithful. And you will bring down our personal Jerichos. And we thank you, Lord God, that we will honor you every day of our life by persisting in doing the good things you've called us to do. Prayer. Learning about you listening for your word, trusting in you, being obedient to your will, caring